Hi, welcome to Ride Alongside. Today we're doing a long-term review of the outer shell rack bag. I wanted a versatile bag for everyday use that would double as a great bike packing bag. For me, a bike packing bag is going to need to have lots of volume, but an everyday bag is going to need to have great accessibility. It's so easy to open this bag while you're riding. It's just these two shock cord clips and the underside, this is how it attaches. It's got all this daisy chain webbing so you can easily adjust it. It's got these side pockets that are easy to store things quickly. And it's got those metal D-rings so that if you want to take off the bag and go into a store, you can easily put a shoulder strap on it. This bag's easy to close up to, and it is handmade in California. Another thing I really wanted out of a front bag like this was the ability to have a map window, a clear piece of plastic on the top of the bag that would keep the map both waterproof and visible while I ride. This bag needed to have great volume and capacity, but it also needed to be able to collapse down somewhat so I could use it on my everyday rides when I'm just carrying a little bit of food and some colder weather riding apparel. Being that I host the Coffee Outside Prescott group every Friday here in Prescott, I needed a way to easily throw my coffee gear and my stove into a bag that I could use every day. The outer shell rack bag has two sets of shock cord. This first one is for the top flap. It has two hooks on it that secure the top flap down. The second one is adjustable with one hand and secures all of your gear with the inner apron. When you open that up, you'll find that there's four plastic pieces that keep this box shape. You can remove the side pieces and they serve as a great cutting board for bike packing or bike touring, but they maintain the box shape so you can have maximum capacity. If you don't need maximum capacity, you can pull them out and cinch the sides down so that your gear doesn't rattle around inside. They have these buckles that are easy to pop open and shut close again, making them really easy to adjust. There's this inner pocket on this side, on the front, and there's also pockets on all the other sides. Here I'm carrying a quilt and a hammock inside. You can see there's still extra room for many other pieces of gear. I recommend keeping it light though so that your front end doesn't feel too heavy. While other bags like frame bags and uh, seat post bags are good, they don't give me the easy access like a front bag would. I wanted something that I could easily attach and detach from my front rack as well. I wanted to have some administrative pockets to be able to store some things like my phone, keys, and other small items like bars and other food. But I didn't want so many pockets that it would limit what I could carry. In the past, frame bags have really been my go-to for uses like this. But frame bags can't store very many items inside of them, actually. And I like to reserve them for really heavy items. For items that are just bulky and I need quick access to, like apparel, I really wanted a, a front bag that was easy to access. The outer shell rack bag also doubles as a basket bag something I was really interested in. I really like running a basket on the front, especially when I know that I'm going to be going through town often and not really sure what I'm going to pick up, whether that's at the store 
or a friend's house, or if it's just trash along the trail. The forethought on the design that Kyle put into this outer shell bag is second to none. I'm really impressed by it. The pockets that face me are used very often for food and for my phone. And the pocket on the front I actually use to pick up trash a lot. I keep a plastic grocery bag there just for that purpose. Inside I've been able to fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro and it fits flat. During bike packing trips, I carry the Nemo Switchback closed cell foam pad on the top. While this is a bulky solution for a pad and a way to store it, I'd rather have this bulky pad than a lightweight compressible pad much of the time. Reason being is that I use that pad every week at Coffee Outside to sit on. It keeps me insulated from the cold bench and it's really nice having it readily accessible. Having a large bag like this on the front of your bike can be a real drag, especially in a headwind. But what's nice about this bag is that it folds down into a triangular shape and compresses with the side buckles and straps. This feature is my absolute favorite of this bag. It's very quick to adjust and you can undo those buckles in an instant. And it's super easy while you're riding to take off your garments and put them into this bag and expand it. So over the one and a half years, going on two that I've been using the outer shell rack bag. Have I experienced any wear or failure? Absolutely not. It's a very solid, very sturdy bag that I would trust to secure my overnight gear that I'm relying on to survive when I'm out bike packing. Are there any things I would want improved on the outer shell rack bag. You know, I've really thought long and hard about this one and there really is nothing that I can think of that I would change. I think that there are some elements that make this bag a little bit heavier than it could be perhaps. But for me, I count on the durability that a bag like this will give me when I'm in the backcountry and when I'm riding on my bike running errands during my day-to-day -day rides. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I give this bag five stars, two thumbs up, and a very high recommendation for anybody looking for a bag like this. It's not for everyone. Not everybody's going to run a front rack. But for those who do, I want a large bag that's versatile, uh, somewhat collapsible and compressible that you can use every day and on long distance touring and bikepacking trips. This is the bag you've been looking for. Well, I'm Nick from Ride Alongside. That's the review of the Outer Shell Rack Bag. Thanks so much for watching. I'll have more content for you real soon. Thank you.